Those nights you can't fall asleep are miserable. Maybe you had one last night and you're thinking you just need a little help being able to fall asleep, so you're going to reach for the melatonin. It's an easy over-the-counter supplement, but Leah Shields is verifying if melatonin is good for you and what it actually does to the body. A study by Mayo Clinic Rochester shows millions of Americans are trying melatonin to help them sleep. It often comes into a small gummy form or pill to help you doze off easier, but is it actually good for you and your sleep? Let's verify. My sources today are the director of the sleep medicine program at UF Health Jacksonville, Dr. Mariam Lewis, American Academy of Sleep Medicine, and Everyday Health Journal. So the studies don't show that there's an actual benefit to taking melatonin, and it may actually be harmful. Dr. Lewis explains that melatonin doesn't improve your sleep. It's something we already have naturally. Melatonin is the hormone in the body that alerts you um, as to when you should be going to sleep. The goal is to help you fall asleep faster, but Lewis says the supplement doesn't do all that much. And it decreases the amount of time that it takes you to fall asleep only by about four to seven minutes. So it is really not a very uh, efficacious sleeping aid. Now to the dangers. The Everyday Health Journal says, unlike in the European Union, melatonin in the U.S. is not regulated. Lewis says studies have shown that the dose on the outside of the bottle isn't always what you're getting. It can be half of that or up to four times more. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine says the chewable tablets can vary the most, and those are the ones kids often take. If you have melatonin at home, keep it away from your kids. Dr. Lewis says data shows the number of accidental melatonin overdoses in kids are on the rise. With your Verify, I'm Leah Shields.